Dylan, Dylan Brooks has played with so much confidence and a chip on his shoulder. It, it, it's like he has something to prove every night he steps onto the court. And on most nights, he really proves a lot to people because he plays at a very high rate. That is what Utah has done all game long, and you can tell it's been an emphasis with the coaching staff. John ja Morant, good entry. Great D by Clarkson. Known for his offense, great D right there. We got another three. Bogdanovich feeling it. Why not? You can tell it's been an emphasis with the coaching staff. John ja Morant, good entry. Great D by Clarkson. Known for his offense, great D right there. We got another three. Bogdanovich feeling it. Why not? I, <laughs> Double up. They have the second best true shooting percentage in the NBA. What that tells me is that they get great shots. You know who has the number one true, true, true shooting percentage? It has a chance to be an incredible series. I can't wait for that when you get kicked off. And, you know, Giannis wants to probably exercise some demons as well from what's happened in the playoffs the last two seasons. They weren't supposed to be competing for a playoff spot last year, and they built on that momentum, and they're right back in the playoffs this season. Jordan Clarkson, but a good read by Niang, gives him a second chance opportunity. Held up momentarily. He'll share it with Clarkson once again. Like what Quinn Snyder said about Jordan Clarkson, his spirit. As he comes up short, but the sixth man of the year. Now they had a couple. Of, they had a, a good. They had a good run in the 90s. They were okay. They were, they were all right. They were all right team. Not bad. Dylan Brooks held up. Well, make a statement. Conley beats him out front. And you said it. Too good a look. It's Jordan Clarkson. Long rebound. John Morant's got it. 12 minutes of play for the Utah Jazz. Most points ever in a playoff quarter. They had 47. And you see nine threes. That's a new franchise record. The tap away. And shot clock violation. Jaron Jackson just trying to find rhythm to his game after missing almost the entire season. As there's the runner and the floater. Jordan Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson up against the rookie. And it'll be Rudy Gobert. Right place, right time of the air ball. And that's how he scores his basketball. Led the NBA in plus minus with the Utah Jazz. Three ball and a foul on the pit. Clarkson. He got the space inside. When you talk about Monty Williams possibly being coach of the year. I think he's very deserving. But Quinn Snyder's got to get some right. votes for coach of the year, too. Ingles doesn't have to score to be a factor for the Utah Jazz, although he can definitely shoot the three ball. But a chemistry guy personified. And a little bit hot and a little wide. That let me know the league is going to be in great hands moving forward when we get some of our elder statesmen like LeBron James to retire. Jordan Clarkson. Hello. Hello. They continue to celebrate. That's like you said, you got you got to figure out what your next steps are going to be as you're a young team. And so you, you understand who your keepers are right now. They, you know, of course, John Morant, Dylan Brooks, um, Bain. They have some good young players on this team. There were some questions, but he is a true young NBA superstar. Jordan Clarkson got what he wanted. And that was Dylan Brooks out of position when he flew by from behind. John Morant. He's 8 of 17, 18 points. Joe Ingles picks it up. Six man of the year, averaging 18 a game. He knew where he wanted to go, and it's Niang. The defensive effort really hasn't been there as far as multiple efforts. I've been, I saw it for a quick second in the second quarter from the second unit, but I just, it just hasn't been at a playoff level. If you want to win a playoff game, you got to run teams off the three-point line. What they're not going to do is give you a promotion and let you mess up the biscuits. I just don't <laughs> understand how Brad Stevens gets let go and moves up into the front off of another really good third and another good 12-minute session uh -oh. jordan clarkson up uh -oh. against jaron jackson jr the turn up good quick hands desmond bain and leaking out grayson allen I, I know a tar hill isn't supposed to show love to a blue double but congratulations to coach k on I having an, an incredible career i mean an incredible career hell of a career. off the mid joe ingles off the pick Final shot coming up. It'll be Jordan Clarkson. Little mid-range action. He'll get the roll. Like everything else. And the foul. Clarkson is having a great night. They'll take it. If not, they have so many other guys that can score that his scoring isn't always needed. Final shot. John ja Morambo to get it off. No. Clarkson at the buzzer. No way. Okay. And finishing up his third season, they have got to make a decision. Jaron Jackson Jr., great secondary defender there with a block. Melton on the wraparound to Dylan Brooks. But Jaron Jackson Jr. will clean it up. And Donovan Mitchell, the catalyst early. Now the shot clock coming down on Jordan Clarkson. Even though the game is a little out of hand, he is not settling. He's not just out there 
clocking and counting down the minutes. He's still trying to make an impact. Boy, that's too easy for Jordan Clarkson. Second to last pick of the lottery. O'Neal shares it. Clarkson's got it. He's and got everything it. else has fallen. He's got it going now. Clarkson, they can take their time inside of eight to play. Why not? Rudy Go As Memphis overreacts to him, he finds Rudy Gobert inside for the nasty dunk. Jaws sees it's Gobert. Good take. Didn't get the roll. What of the foul? You've given up 47 points. Well, most of the times, teams take on the identity of their best player. And that and tonight, Utah took on the identity of Donovan Mitchell. Donovan, Donovan Mitchell was business-like. They live by it all season long. It's paid off in the postseason, and it should continue. They know the rules. Jordan Clarkson. They were down by as many as 35 in the first half. Clarkson unaccounted for. And guess who? Rudy Gobert.